first of the tips, I'm going to talk about the meeting notes template, which I think is probably one of the most useful templates uh, in Confluence. I'm sure many of you listening will have been to meetings where you've turned up, but you're not really sure what the goal is. It's just someone's invited you along. You're not really sure whether you're part of it or if you've on the agenda for speaking or just listening. So the idea about the meeting notes template is that it follows good etiquette practice. Uh, very easy to use. So once you go into your space, use the templates uh, by pressing the dot 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 button at the top here to create a new page based on a template. And it's listed here as meeting notes. Press the create button, it gives you a, a brief introduction to its purpose. Now the idea is it's suggesting that in the introduction is that you create this before the meeting and you try and set out who the attendees are, what the goals are, what the agenda is, so that everybody who's attending the meeting can see what, what's going on and what the plans are. And quite often you'll find that a meeting won't need to take place because somebody might be able to actually answer the question without the meeting having to take place. They can do that through collaborating on this page. So really is a time saver. Start with, we've got the date, we've got a, a summary page. It's a good idea to try and explain what the um, meeting purposes with that. Uh, and mention the attendees. So uh, mentioning people in conference is ever so easy. Use the at symbol and then it, you can try and choose their names from a list. So perhaps we'll, we'll invite a couple of my colleagues along to this meeting as well. We'll next set the goals um, and maybe we need to set a goal for our meeting to choose which, choose the best kind of biscuits maybe uh, to bring along to meetings. Sounds like a very useful meeting to have. And we'll, we'll separate this up a bit. Perhaps I'll take the first minutes and I'll, I'll talk about my favourites, perhaps obnorms or something like that. Uh, and I'll give that to myself. Again, mentioning myself by name. And perhaps um, we'll allow 10 minutes for my colleague Gary to perhaps talk about digestive Is. A conference is very good and it, it remembers which people have been invited to the meeting who are common people that you, you mention and it brings up in a, a quick easy list for you to find. If there's no one on the list you can start typing in characters and it will go searching through the user list to find the person you want. So we set up the goals, we set up the agenda and now it's time to publish the page. At this point in time the uh, people with mentions will get a notification email from Confluence telling them about the page. Uh, it's also good practice if you're setting up the meeting to, uh, with Outlook or Google Calendars, for example, to include a link to this page as well, just so people can know how to find the page. The meeting happens, um, and then we use the same page to come through and take notes. So we might take notes from the meeting, we might take actions. This is a standard conference page though, so we can do all sorts of things like including documents and images and recordings, whatever we want to do. Very important for a meeting to have some sort of outcome. So maybe we've come to a decision at the end of this meeting uh, and then you can take some action. So maybe uh, if we chose uh, maybe Jaffa Cakes or something like that as an outcome, uh, I'll take the action for that one and give myself uh, an action to take that. So uh, bring some biscuits along uh, to the next meeting. I can give myself a deadline. So press the slash button twice, like so, and it'll bring up a calendar for next meetings in a week's time. That gives me a deadline. I can then see these actions on my actions page as part of my personal space. Updating the page will then save this and everyone should have a single source of truth as to what the meeting was about, what was discussed and any actions taken from it. If there's any follow on work, it can also be uh, collaborated on by comments. If someone didn't agree with something or there were some mistakes made in the page, you can go back and edit it afterwards just you could and it would be versioned. The other nice thing about having all of your meetings in the right space in Confluence is that you can always go back and refer to them at any time. It's not relying on people emailing out minutes or anything like that after a meeting. It's all there. Anyone can find it. Anyone can search for the content at any time. 